The video is just about to start, but be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Check our apps, games and more videos like this down below. Welcome makers, today we bring you to all of you how to build a stop motion camera with a Raspberry Pi and no GS with on-screen controls. Different from other videos, this project is relying heavily in gold and software. I believe it's interesting why I'm using a combination of software that is not common for this purpose. The software combination is going to be a mix of Node.js that interacts with the TFT LCD drivers, GPO drivers for the user input, GS streamer for the manipulation of the video preview, plus VS webcam to take the actual pictures. Also, I'm going to use inbuilt Node.js features for file I.O. and image generation with Canvas. In a nutshell, the logic flow behind the project is like the diagram I'm showing right now. Pretty simple. JS Streamer in the binary flavor will manage the live feed of the camera and overlay menu over it, then redirect the output to the LCD. I'm also using FFPG to merge all the image taken as a video. Of course, we need a TFT driver for the LCD provided by the FTTFT binary, plus we will need a RAM disk to store the menu overlay. On the NPM side, we will use several modules like node webcam to actually take pictures of the camera, on-off to control the GPO and detect the user input, PTFT that is a wrapper for the TFT driver, plus with the canvas and will function in Node.js we will create the overlay menu. As can be seen in the diagram, the flow of data is managed from GS Streamer. It has the video stream and the menu overlay generated by canvas in Node.js and show it in the LCD. I want to mention that Hesse Streamer has dozens of plugins to head, manipulate and merge video streams and image. But after a lot of tries that you can see here, the mix I used in the final version of the source was the best one that worked with the current setup. So after installing all the modules and the dependencies I mentioned, it's time to set up the environment. We must create a RAM disk to start the generated overlay. It's needed way in Raspberry Pi, you had the real file error by reading constantly from the SD card. Also, it's a must to set up the TFT driver. In this case, I'm using a 2.4 inches LCD with a EO9341 control IC. You must edit the FB TFT driver config file setting up the LCD EC model plus the rotation. After the driver is set, the only thing left is to hook up the LCD like this. Now it's time to wire the push buttons to the GPO pins to get the user input, like in the following schematic. After all is started and set up, you can configure PM2 to start the script on boot and set the IMO. The good news is that PM2 has a build function to start the script on boot. So 
view that the code in JavaScript consists of only one file and has a very simple structure. First, we import the modules and initialize the LCD with PyETFD. Then, we declare the properties to capture the image with node webcam. Afterwards, we build that the overlay and start the live feed with the his streamer. The rest of the code is just the listener for the input buttons from the GPO and some utility function. You can find the link to download the full source code and the schematics in the description down below. I 3D printed a simple open case to hold everything together. Also, you can see how all the buttons work and make the overlay appear on the screen together with the live video feed from the web camera. The live feed works perfectly, except for the flickering that happens every time an image is taken, as it's needed to kill his streamer feed to take the pick itself and then start it again. And last but not least, here is a showcase of a rotating plushy stop motion video generated by this experiment. That's all folks, I hope you like it.